everyone and once again as always welcome back to the channel I start myself off here as I always do at Mercedes-Benz of Paul and they've really pulled out the stops on this one guys over 35 years of history this vehicle has and I don't need to tell you what it is you know that it's a G-Wagon <laughs> Now, as I mentioned earlier, this car has over 35 years of history. It's one of the longest produced Mercedes-Benz vehicles in their range. With its traditional boxy style shape, that hasn't really changed much. So you can still see that it's a G-Wagon, but the things that they have changed on this car look incredible. I wasn't really a fan of the old G-Wagon, if I'm honest, but this is my favorite yet. One thing I have noticed straight away with this car, um, and unfortunately it is a negative, Mercedes have had a few years now to redesign this car, add new features, which don't get me wrong, they have, but I'm six foot three, and when you've got these AMG Crossforge 22 inch wheels on it, it makes this car very high, and it's, it's a long way to get out, it's a long way down. So, I mean, look at that, that's, that's almost a, a jump out of the car. I know with the Range Rovers, they have the little step that comes out on the side here when the door opens, and then when the door closes again, it folds back underneath. But yeah, I just think a little step there would have been a nice little touch because, like I say, I'm quite tall, but for shorter people, this is gonna be a difficult car to get in and out of. Okay guys, so here we are, the new AMG G63, wait for it, that iconic locking sound. 0 to 60 by the way, 4.4 seconds, which is the same as the E53 that I reviewed first of all. Now there's no denying that this iconic shape just tells you that it's a G-Wagon. It still keeps the traditional boxy style shape with the long side panels, very square looking, and it just looks, it looks like it means business. This is just, on the road, I was, obviously I've been filming this video today and uh, there was a few shots that we took this morning and I was in the car in front and looking back at this in the rear view mirror, my god it has a stance and an appearance about it that you just you can't help but turn your head to so as i say 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds which for a car of this weight is pretty impressive mercedes have managed to shed 174 kilograms off of the weight of this new g-wagon that's nearly two of me that's a hell of a lot of weight so they've certainly uh, certainly done a good job there and they haven't cut corners on the design and compared to the previous G-Wagon it just feels like it's been brought up to date because the previous G-Wagon did need updating and I wasn't actually a fan of it myself it wasn't it wasn't one of the G-Wagons that I was overly keen on but I really like the main difference for me that I really like is the headlight design I just think the new headlights look stunning and the new tail lights as well they're, they're very simple but they just have a nice look to them when they're on it's just i don't know it just it looks right basically now what i want to focus on today is more about how the car handles off-road don't get me wrong it still has a four liter twin turbo v8 that we see in a lot of the 63s now near enough all of them but this car wasn't really built for that type of performance it's more about its off-road capabilities now there's one person that i know in particular was a little bit nervous about that comment that i made in the previous video saying that i wanted to do something a bit different 
to show how it handled off-road and that was uh, the dealer principal of Mercedes-Benz of Paul who has obviously kindly let me use the car today. Now this G-Wagon has been completely redesigned. The only things that carry over from the previous G-Wagon are the door lock button, the headlight washer nozzles, uh, sun visors and also the spare wheel cover but everything else is brand new, completely new and it doesn't half show in inside I mean it's just it's like a different car you wouldn't know other than the fact you you sat so high up off the ground and this thing is huge you wouldn't know that you weren't sat in any of the latest models in the range because it's taken that very iconic design of the widescreen cockpit the s-class steering wheel the ambient lighting with the usual 64 different colors all of those things have been in have been added into this car now and it looks fantastic compared to the previous g-wagon which i've got to say i wasn't a massive fan of this one now really does it really does look good it's it's not a car i would probably drive as an everyday car because for me it's a little bit wallowy um, but again that comes down to the purpose for this car it's more of an off-road vehicle which is why I want to focus on those areas more so the suspension now on this is completely independent it never used to be but obviously that's gonna have a massive part to play in the way that it handles um, the the height clearance is 24.1 centimeters which is quite high and the wheels obviously being 22 inch wheels will certainly help with that height clearance also because of how much higher it is off the ground now we're just we're just going down this track now and i can tell you that i mean other than the sensors going crazy which they will do because they're going to pick up on ob obstacles objects um, left and right these are some pretty big holes and the G-Wagon just goes over them like they're not they are not even much of an issue and obviously in a, a normal car you wouldn't be able to get you wouldn't be able to get down this road very easily without either scraping the underside of the car or getting yourself stuck but this just takes it on as if it's just another road which is you know which is incredible the other thing that's very very impressive about this car is the comfort I know that Mercedes have really focused on the comfort element in this car now and it is it is very comfortable considering the type of journey we're doing now and the type of road that we're driving down yeah you are going to be thrown about a little bit because of because of it being on une uneven road surface but it's not uncomfortable I mean the G-Wagon has been in production it's the longest produced vehicle within the Mercedes range and they did try and replace it with the GL in 2006 but due to the popularity of this car they just continued producing it and I think for anyone that's loved the car for the last five six years they're gonna absolutely love this new version of it because it is it's just like they've brought the G-Wagon into the future the the look of it externally hasn't changed drastically but the few changes that they have made just look fantastic the front end on this when it's coming up behind you it has that Panamericana type looking grill the headlights with the the circular daytime running lights it just it looks fantastic it's a difficult car to review this one because we all know the g-wagon these days as as a statement vehicle which it very much is you know you see one of these and you think wow that's an incredible looking car and they're not really used for off-road use anymore but driving this in the short period i have and seeing some of the the capabilities of this car it is an impressive off-road vehicle there's no doubt about it and that's why it's had such a long-standing life in the mercedes range and for them to still be continuing the journey and the production of this car it just tells you that it's probably one of the best that we're going to see it also has double glazed windows for so road noises limited other than the engine that four liter bi turbo roaring at you through the amg performance exhaust there's not a lot of road noise and again that's another benefit in this car it's quite a nice car to just sit back have a steady journey to wherever you may be going 
and it's comfortable, quiet, but then obviously the benefit is the other options that you have with this car. Transmission wise, we have an AMG Speed Shift TCT 9G Sports Automatic Gearbox. Now I've tried to find out what the TCT stands for. I've seen people refer to it as triple clutch transmission, twin clutch transmission, torque converter transmission. I've checked the Mercedes website and I, they don't seem to tell you what the TCT stands for. So if anyone can confirm that, then that would be great. You know, leave a comment below because I'd certainly like to know. I would like to talk about performance a little bit because at the end of the day, this car certainly has the performance element there if you want to use it. The only thing is that I find with this car, with the size of it, the ride height, when you're driving this car slightly more aggressively, braking just seems a little bit delayed for me. I, I, don't get me wrong, I know it's, it is a heavy vehicle, but you have to be quite early on the brakes because it takes a long time to slow down. And again, I know that naturally it is going to because it weighs that much more, but I'm not sure if there's a little bit more that could have been done there. With the power that it has, I just feel like it could break a little bit better. The one thing that I'm not too keen on that Mercedes have changed in this car is the window switch and um, wing mirror control panel on here. Um, it looks, I don't know why they didn't keep the Titan silver type looking switches there. They, they tie in nicely with the electric memory seat controls and it's something that we see in the rest of the range pretty much as standard now, but for some reason they've changed the G-Wagon to these plastic window switches and for me, they just look cheap. In a car of this value, that is a negative for me. I don't really like it. I don't understand the thought process behind it. So yeah, not keen on that. I've got to give credit to Mercedes-Benz where it's due and they've really, they've really brought this car up to date with the rest of the competition out there. My knowledge of this car isn't as good as some others out there so I'm sure there's plenty of things that I haven't covered that a lot of you would have hoped I had but in terms of performance off-road for me it's fantastic I was so surprised at how well it handled the road that I, I used again I wasn't able to to get fully off-road but there was a perfect opportunity and that road that I demonstrated earlier was was absolutely ideal. So unfortunately I've had to actually uh, use my phone to finish this video because my camera's died so that's a little bit embarrassing but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video it's like I say it's probably not the best in terms of product knowledge because my knowledge on this car isn't as good as some people out there but I think they've again they've done a brilliant job with the new G-Wagon in terms of the design and the technology it's it's up there with the rest of what we're used to now in the Mercedes range they've still kept that icon iconic look on the car but changed a few things I like the fact that they've changed the wing mirrors and made them round as opposed to square the new headlight design and the taillight design for me looks really good but they've kept that traditional box style shape and if you change that it's it's no longer a g-wagon so you know that's that's all still great and um yeah that's that's really it for this one so the next is gonna be it's a possible two options it's either gonna be gtc coupe or it's gonna be the new cls 53 which it's a difficult one because i like both cars but i think the cls 53 is probably the more relevant with that being a new model so it may potentially be that or it'll be the GTC. Again, thank you for everyone that's watched all of my videos. The views are just mind blowing and the subscribers keep pouring in. So I'm clearly doing something right and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I thank the guys that helped me film it because without them, it would be very difficult to do it on my own. Yeah, stay tuned. CLS 53 or GTC Coupe next. Leave a comment below. Tell me which ones you wanna see and uh, we'll go from there. But for now, that is me out.